Bon dia, Signora Gloria. Bon dia, Nick. Um, where are we today? We are in Xandalvares, which is near Alvares, 20 minutes away from Pedrogo Grande and 30 minutes away from Goix. Okay, so it's in between Goix and Pedrogo Grande. Exactamente. And um, we're here to see something rather special, aren't Absolutely. we? Absolutely. Okay, so um, um, tell me about a little bit about this property. This property, it's very special because it's grand. Mm -hmm. It's luxury, uh, it's the main house. Then we have the caretaker's house. We've got a wine cellar and uh, we have uh, a vine, some forest, and we've got spectacular views, a pool. Beautiful so, gardens. Totally beautiful. Okay, um, so we've got 4G. Got 4G. We've got mains water. We have mains water, 4G, a borehole, yep. which supplies uh, two ways this property. The borehole is at the bottom of the garden, mm -hmm. goes up to a tank, which we just can see over there with that green grate. Just up there, yep. Uh, the water goes there and then it spreads two ways. One way is towards watering the garden, uh, the allotment, the veg, and another one, it can supply also the house. There is also mains water here, and they can choose to have one option or another one. Okay. There is a switch which goes both ways. Okay, so th there's a borehole, uh, and, and the borehole also directly feeds, fills the swimming pool. Exactly. So the borehole, this... it's also, there is a, um, a way which uh, supplies the swimming pool straight instead of going up, go straight away to the swimming pool. And I, and I guess that that also tees off and supplies the house. Supplies the house, it's from there. And supplies there. the tank as well. Yes. Um, there's how many bedrooms? There is five bedrooms. Yep. There is a main suite uh, with a, a dressing area and there is also another suite uh, with bathroom, obviously. Yeah, so th there's two two bedrooms. Two. With all one is the master, the other one is the second, and then it's three other bedrooms, with all sharing bathrooms between each other. And it's kind of it's in an elevated position above the village, with kind of stunning views. Um, I think we just need to go and have a look around. Yes, don't we? The, the the property is set in the top of the village. It's basically overlooking all the mountains. As I said, seven minutes away from the river beach of Alvarez, okay. which also has a restaurant. Uh, we'll share that now. Yes. Uh, and also the garden is completely fenced. Totally fenced. Uh, and you've got these kind of double gates here. There's also some more gates down at the bottom. Yes, and we have also a gate in the top of the property because there is a road around. Yeah. If someone wants to come and get a big truck, the, there is a road around and there is a gate at the top at of the, the property. At the back. Okay, let's, um, let's go and have a look around. Let's go and start it. This is quite a privilege to kind of have a look around such yes. a beautiful property. This was built by a very famous uh, Brazilian architect. Um, also, just because we are looking here, obviously there is cameras all around. There is okay, some so security yeah, cameras. Yes. I did notice as well there's a two-way communication to, to gain entry to the property. Yes. Down below. Yes. I don't know whether there's one there. I didn't see. Yeah. Um, so you come round here and you've got this double garage. That is the caretaker's house, and this is the main entrance for the property. Okay. Sim. 
This is the old entrance. Mm -hmm. And on the right, we'll go to the bedrooms area. I'm just going to show the architectural features. Even though it's a new property, it has, or a relatively new property, it has these um, beams, which are beautiful. Uh, and then a double doorway out to that sun terrace. And I think there's another sun terrace out on the, um, <coughs> the other side. So we've got this central area which will divide us to the different sections of the house. Here is towards the bedroom section, mm -hmm. there is an adega, and this is the eating area and also the sitting area. I'm just going to show this dome, which is just beautiful. Okay, so we're going to have a look at the bedrooms first? Yes. Okay. You will be more so. Got just a cloak room, uh, service bathroom, wash hand basin, B day, WC, tile floor to ceiling, and this beautiful curved wall, which is obviously the other side of the first hallway. It's lovely Georgian arches. So, here we have three bedrooms, double sharing a bathroom on this side. Mm -hmm. On this side we have a double bedroom with bathroom en suite. Okay, I'm just going to show the second dome. That's just beautiful. Okay, I'm going to start in this one because otherwise I'm going to get lost. So this is the first double bedroom. Huge built-in wardrobes on that side, and that just overlooks the driveway and rear of the garden. So that's bedroom one. I'm going to count these off on my finger. <laughs> uh, Full bathroom? Bathroom with bidet, WC, tub, shower, and wash hand basin. Are there, um, are there, there shutters on most of the windows? All the windows have shutters. Okay. So we call it persianas. 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 So this is the second bedroom. Again, it's a double with large built-in wardrobes. Um, Another double. Okay. What's, is this the primary bedroom? Yeah. So this is uh, another, <coughs> excuse me, double bedroom, but with two singles. Again, masses of storage space. And just look at this. Stunning views. So that's bedroom three. And the bedroom for its uh, ensuite bath. So a big double bedroom. <coughs> Excuse me. Again, same outlook, stunning views. And an ensuite bathroom, wash hand basin, B day, WC, and tub. And again, that curved wall. Large built-in wardrobes, loads of storage space. So that's bedroom four, so there's five bedrooms. There is another five bedroom, okay. which is the dressing area and also uh, en suite. So this really is the primary bedroom because you have a dressing area with two sets of wardrobes there. The Bedroom, nice marble window sills, and overlooking the back of the property. <coughs> and then over here, you have the ensuite, which is huge, which has got a shower unit, wash and basin, B day, WC and it's tiled floor to ceiling. 
Okay. So that's the bedroom wing. And then you come over to the other side of the property. We've got on the, the left the adega. Okay. Wine cellar. Wow. And a bar. Yes, the bar. The pub. Yes, <laughs> perfect. <clears throat> and this section here, we've got a very particular feature here, which is a fireplace, which go both sides, goes to the sitting area and also goes to the dining area. Okay, I better show that now. So there's one side of the fire. And you come round to the dining room and there's the other side of the fire. And then I'm just going to show the living area. I've just got these two double doors with incredible views overlooking the village and the mountains. And then on this side Another cool covered terraced area. We have these beautiful verandas, it's isn't it? Wonderful, yeah. Absolutely amazing with all these views. Mm -hmm. It's absolutely spectacular. Um, and then this is the sitting area, and then you've got this very important part of Portuguese life the um, family dining area. <laughs> this table sits, what, eight, eight to ten people? Mm hmm. Beautiful table and chairs. Yes, yes. The furniture here, it's, you can see that is old-fashioned but good quality furniture, proper oak. Mm -hmm. um, and again, the exposed beams on the ceiling and two double doors leading out onto the terrace and stunning views. So where are we going now, Gloria? We're going to the kitchen area, laundry, and then we go to the outside with the barbecue area and the pool. Okay. So here on the right, we have the laundry section. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll just show that quickly. So you have lots of storage space, pots and pans, uh, and plumbing for a washing machine, and space for a fridge freezer. There is also a pantry here. Ah, very important. Pantry. Okay. And the kitchen with a, a log burner. Okay. All plenty of space to put all your pots, cutlery, pans, your pots and yeah. pans and everything else. Okay, so from the kitchen. From the kitchen we go to the barbecue area, which is very handy mm -hmm. because yeah, it's right you can next to the it's right next to the yep. kitchen. And the pool area. So I'm just gonna show the Shirish Skyler first. So you've got an outside kitchen and cooking area, uh, washing area, <clears throat> very important dining area, and then this. You see the veranda connects you also to the... Ah, okay, so you can come from the veranda, from the front room, from the dining room. Um, you have these stunning views and your own swimming pool. Yes. Be nice that, wouldn't it, Gloria? Yes. Your own swimming pool. Well, we decided to... Uh, just if you don't mind, I mentioned that is the gate that ah, I was mentioned okay. so early. Just up here. Yeah, which takes the road around if a, a big truck needs to come into the property, can come from the back through that gate. Okay, uh, here's a good place to also see the um, grapevines at the top up yes. here. Uh, and you have a map of this property, don't yes, you? Yes, I do. Okay, I'll share that right now. Okay, see so these back garden, the back garden's beautiful, isn't it? Yes, the and, property um, total, it's around 
10,000 square meters altogether. Okay. So all this front garden, loads of fruit trees. Loads of fruit oranges, trees. Orange, figs, tangerines, figs, grapes, grapes um, apples. Yep. Um, all sort of um, um, lemon trees, peach. Uh, right, now, now where next? Next, we're going to the caretaker's house. The caretaker's house, which could be a holiday let. A holiday let, yeah. uh, staff headquarters. Yeah. Um, it's a choice of a second. It's an apartment. Below is just uh, um, um, some storage. Storage. Yeah. Uh, which we don't need to go into because it's just storage room. And up we have the apartment. Ah, now I'm just going to show this. Uh, it's very important in Portugal to have um, sprinkler systems for if you have a lawn. And especially if you have free water. Uh, yeah, and the water must come from the borehole. Yeah. From the top. Uh huh. As you can see in this property, actually, you can see all around the house, you can see taps yep. with um, connections everywhere, different sections of the garden. With this property side, uh, if you don't have free water, we'll get mm -hmm. quite expensive. It would, yes. So here yeah, they have both <laughs> options. So this was the caretaker's house. Yes. Uh, in previous times. Um. Which is a very good size for, you know, mm -hmm. staff or whatever needs to be used to. I so think, there is a kitchen here? I think it would just make an excellent holiday let. So you've got a kitchen in here, which looks over the um, vineyard. Water heater, double sink drainer, marble worktops. Okay. This is a bit messy. I apologize for that, but... They're just using it for storage at yes. the moment. There could be either a bedroom or a heating area. Stunning views from this. Yes. Okay. And then Bas a bathroom here and a bedroom. Double bedroom. Overlooking the pool. And then... A bathroom or a wash hand basin, the all important B day, WC, a bath and shower. And a nice little um, yeah. sun terrace yes. here. Yes. So you could sit and I, eat your food. This this property uh, has several options. Mm -hmm. If someone wants to basically just buying for themselves they can have members of staff here. Otherwise, this will be good for local accommodation, bed and breakfast, you know. Yeah. Uh, there are two options here as a business or as a private home. Or, I mean, if you, if you don't want the hassle of um, uh, run it, maintaining an Airbnb, then you could have this just for family and friends yes. to come and stay. Yes. If you could afford to do that. Yes. There is choices here of there is options mm -hmm. basically. I'm just going to show these uh, pumpkins. Abobara. Abobara. Um, which are obviously and they are like the we, that ones. They are what you call it in England. Butternut. The squash. Butternut. butternut. Squash. And yeah. this is um, courgette. Ah, okay. But they are quite big ones. Yeah. <laughs> Not the normal courgette site. So you can That's the water tank where water the water tank. gets pumped to. Should we just walk up there yes. and see whether we can see it? Yes. This is where the pump is. Okay, so it's just a balloon pump. And then that fills the tank, which is right there. Um, <clears throat> a Dago next? 
Yeah. Yep, Miss Sarah sat down there reading her book. Yes. <laughs> uh, so it's this way. Yes. Left. Lovely Portuguese calçada. And I guess in previous times this would have been covered with grapevines to give shade. Yes. It's a big fig tree, beautiful. So here we have the adega. Okay, so this is the adega. Because they make their uh, own wine. They make lots of wine. Yes. They make, <laughs> they make lots of wine. Now, I'm going to point out that this is damp on all the walls because all of it's underground and it wasn't tanked. So it's quite an easy repair. Um, to Actually, he's preparing a repair. He's sorting that out. Yes, he's okay, sorting so that, that out. That will be sorted out. And then you've got this wonderful um, bar area. So if you wanted to have um, some parties with all the Yeah, wine. that's another pub. <laughs> and then um, we have the chicken sheds and geese and... So you've got a storage area here. Uh, I'll get round to the geese, the geese house, the goose house. Yes, in a minute. and the chicken shed. Um, so you've got a space for chickens right next to the grapevines. And then you've got this area as well, which um, could make a really nice sun terrace as well. Yeah. Above the adega. Gloria, is this vegetable garden down here not part of the property? No, this one is part of the property because as you can see the fence. So all this land over yes, here? Yes, all this all land that. here is part of the property. Wow. So and he you... goes all the way up as to the gate. As you can see, the property is all fence around. So if someone has dogs, yeah. they, they're perfect safe here because it's all fenced stuff. Or feral children. Yes. <laughs> um. There is a part of forest there, it's a small part, which obviously it does need the fence, but also belongs to the property. Okay, so there's a small amount. Some forest area up here for lenya, for yes. firewood. Um, and down there they've got castagna there. Yeah. And a... Oh, Lockwood. Lockwood. <laughs> Thank you. I remember from the last yeah, time. Yeah. <laughs> and more grapevines yes. down here. They have loads of fruit trees they here. They do, yep. It's stunning. Okay, we'll just quickly show the goose, yes. goose house. Ah, uh, look, and you can see the road uh, yeah. from the top gate coming down here, just over there. Yes, yes, all in Calçada. All in Calçada. I think it's Calçada or is a mix of uh, graves, but there, it's there quite... Is, there is some Calçada yeah, up there. Yeah, yeah, it's a mix. Okay. Let's go and see the little animals. Let's go and see the geese. Some of them, they are obvious storage for wood and Storage for firewood. Under Look at here. these apples. Huge. And They're lot, not ripe lots yet. Of them. Yeah. Um, there is the geese. There's some geese. Orange trees. <laughs> So you were telling me that this part he uses for growing his vegetables. Yes. Tomatoes. Sweet potato. Sweet potato. Lettuce. Lettuce. Cabbage. That's um, oregano, I think, or, or um, 
I think it, if it's not Oregon, it's mint. Over okay. there is also pumpkins. And I mean, there's, there's a huge, another huge fig, fig tree. tree. Yeah, yeah, the fig tree is obviously like this soil. And um, how much um, how, how much weight of kiwis did he get last year? He get 300 kilos. 300 kilos of, of ki kiwis. kiwis. And he just gave it all away. He gave it normally, the fruit, he gives it away because he has a big family on both sides. Mm -hmm. So he gives all the fruit away to the family. Okay. Um, and then the other side of the garden he uses for, for just relaxing and yes. um, enjoyment, flowers. It is, I think there are some bits of veg, it might be in one part, but majority it's flower and fruit trees. I think the best way to see this garden is to, um, to fly the drone. Yes, indeed, do because reckon? I do agree with you, yep. because it's just when we were in the pool area, we could see the bottom of, but with the, with the aerial uh, will be a much better view. Amazing. Of the entire property. Brilliant. Um, did we mention the price? No, we didn't. We didn't mention the price because it is um, a, a little bit eye-watering, but you can see why. Yes. So the price, Gloria, is... It's 600,000 euros. 600,000 euros. Thank you for bringing me to such a lovely property. It's a pleasure, and I hope the clients and all the YouTube watchers, they like this beautiful property. Amazing. Let's get the drone up. Yes. Ciao. Ciao.